The Friars of Fenwick had a very balanced offensive attack tonight as they remain undefeated 6-0 on the season by defeating the Spartans of St. Francis 72-47 here in Wheaton. Mike, you guys had a big game last night against OPRF. Maybe some people were expecting a letdown, but was, that wasn't the case for you guys tonight, was it? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, especially after a game like last night. You know, every, everyone's all hyped up for such a big game against a cross-town rivalry, especially against OPRF. Coach Minotti told us right before this game, he goes, he goes, teams come into games like this thinking like, oh, we just got the big win against a team we were really looking forward to. You still got to come out strong against an opponent every night, and we cannot overlook a team, especially like them. You know, they can all shoot the ball, so we really just got to take every game and go hard. Well, I know one of your early goals was to win your Thanksgiving tournament, which you did. So, so now what's next for you guys? Um, well, our goal for every tournament of the year is to play in the last game at nighttime. So we want to be playing the championship game the last day at night. And another one of our main goals is to win the Catholic League. So it was great to start it off going 1-0 here tonight. Well, tonight you got your second unit to get some minutes. A lot of people were playing. How important is it for those guys to contribute later on in the year for you guys? Oh, it's extremely important. We have a very rock-solid starting five, but to really like go far and be good teams, you just got to have guys coming off the bench. They do it all the time in practice. They just got to translate over to the game, which I think they have been stepping up and doing. Well, congratulations on a great game, and keep it going, Mike. Okay, thank you. Mike Ballard had 14 points for the Friars. Jacob Keller also had 14 points. Mike Smith added a dozen for Fenwick. Friars now 6-0. Meanwhile, the Spartans 1-4. From Wheaton, Mark Kruger, Sports Weekly Overtime.